When it comes to travel, one of the most revolutionary methods is by air. Great strides have been made over the last century to increase safety and reliability, but even that hasn't prevented several prominent aircraft disappearances. Nowadays, the likelihood of an aircraft just going missing is close to zero thanks to radar and satellite monitoring. But, as you're about to learn, it does still happen. Here are five of the greatest unsolved aviation mysteries. By far the largest part of the aviation industry is passenger flights. Millions upon millions of people each year take flights to get to their destinations. Cargo flights are second in line, not accounting for overlap. Various companies, from Amazon to FedEx, fly all over the world to transport everything from retail merchandise to valuable goods. One of these cargo flights was the center of an international mystery in 1979. This was Varig Flight 967. The aircraft assigned to this flight was a Boeing 707-323C that was delivered to American Airlines in August of 1966 and then sold to Varig in 1974. It had flown hundreds of times with no record of incidents. On January 30, 1979, this airplane was scheduled to fly from Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan, bound for Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, with a stopover in Los Angeles. On board were six crew members and a cargo that included 53 paintings by Manabu Mabe that were valued at just over $1.24 million. About 30 minutes after takeoff, the aircraft lost radio contact with the tower somewhere around 120 miles east of Tokyo. To this day, nothing has ever been found from the wreckage, including the valuable paintings. Pre-flight inspections of the aircraft did not reveal anything out of the ordinary so investigators were at a loss. However, there was one fact that caught people's attention. The captain of this flight was Gilberto Araujo da Silva. In 1973, Captain da Silva was in charge of a flight RG-820, a Boeing 707. While flying 134 people, the plane crashed, killing 123 of his passengers. Although he had logged more than 23,000 hours of flight time, it seemed quite strange that this captain would be involved in a second deadly flight. Along with various civilian flights, the military also makes hundreds of flights each day, ranging from reconnaissance to troop and cargo transport. When it comes to military flights, the aircraft have to be much more advanced. One major company that has worked with the U.S. Air Force over the decades has been Lockheed Martin. They've helped to produce some of the most technologically advanced aircraft in the history of the world. One of these was the L-1049H Super Constellation, a massive transport aircraft chartered by the Air Force from Flying Tiger Lines. On March 14, 1962, Flying Tiger Flight 739 departed Travis Air Force Base en route for Clark Air Force Base in the Philippines. On board were 11 crew members, 3 South Vietnamese soldiers, and 93 highly trained Army Ranger specialists who were under orders to relieve soldiers in Saigon. After their final layover in Guam, there were 9 hours of fuel left, with only 6 needed to get to their destination. Sadly, after leaving Guam, they were never heard from again. Ground crews in Guam sent out a distress signal when the plane had missed their scheduled arrival time. One of the largest search and rescue operations in history was then initiated. Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and Marine units covered more than 200,000 square miles of ocean without any luck. In a strange twist, another L-1049H took off from the same airport on the same day, bound for the same destination. When landing at one of its layovers, it crashed as well. All but one of the passengers on board survived. This incident raised many red flags to investigators, but answers were still never found as to what brought down either plane. When it comes to aircraft disappearing, it's easy to think of them occurring many years ago when technology didn't allow for things like effective search and rescue. Though times have changed and our understanding of science has increased by leaps and bounds, flights still vanish even to this day. 
One of them in recent years made news all over the world. It was Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. March 8, 2014 was a very unassuming day for the passengers and crew of the Boeing 777. They were scheduled to depart from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia and arrive a couple of hours later at the Beijing Capital International Airport. It was a trip the captain and the plane had made many times before. It took off normally and without incident. 38 minutes later, the pilots communicated with air traffic control, and that was the last radio signal it ever sent out. A few minutes later, it was lost from the ATC radar. It was, however, still being tracked by military radar, and that continued for another hour. It was deviating westwards from its planned flight path until it eventually went out of radar range, never to be seen again. The search for the missing airplane became the most expensive in aviation history. Search and rescue operations were conducted in the South China Sea and Andaman Sea. Weeks of work turned up nothing. Then, an analysis of the aircraft's automated communications with a satellite indicated that it could have crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean. After searching for three additional years across 46,000 square miles, no wreckage was ever found. All 227 passengers and 12 crew are presumed dead. There is one disappearance that stands out above many others in the world of aviation. It is known as the disappearance of Flight 19. Most of the time when we hear a title like this, we automatically assume that Flight 19 is the name given to a specific voyage, much like the ones we've listed so far. However, Flight 19 is actually the name given to an entire squadron of military torpedo bombers that took off from a naval air station in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on December 5, 1945 on a routine training flight. When they took off, their plan was to head east from the Florida coast towards a place called Hens and Chicken Shoals. Then they would turn north and proceed over Grand Bahama Island before returning back to base. But, for anyone who knows about the geography of this area, you'll know that their flight path took them right through the middle of the Bermuda Triangle, an area in which numerous planes and ships are reported to have disappeared over the decades. This incident worked to further the mystery of this area. After turning north over Grand Bahama Island, one of the pilots became convinced that his compass was malfunctioning and that the airplanes had been flying in the wrong directions. It was only made worse when a weather system moved in, bringing rain, intense wind gusts, and heavy cloud cover. The squadron had become hopelessly disoriented. One of the last radio transmissions heard from them was, I don't know where we are. They were never seen or heard from again. Today, the mystery of the Flight 19 disappearance remains. For our honorable mention, we have the disappearance of an Indian Air Force AN-32, an Antonov twin-engine turboprop transport aircraft. This particular model airplane was built to withstand more extreme weather conditions up to and including hurricane force winds. The day was July 22, 2016, and the trip the plane was taking was meant to be a short one, traveling from Tambaram Air Force Station on India's east coast to Port Blair located on an island in the Indian Ocean. On board the aircraft were 29 people, six crew members, 11 Air Force personnel, two Indian Army soldiers, and eight defense civilians. After flying for around 170 miles, contact with the aircraft was lost and it never made it to its destination. The Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard launched a huge search and rescue operation using a submarine, 12 surface vessels, and 5 aircraft. They were not able to locate anything. On the third day after the disappearance, 16 additional ships, another submarine, and 6 more aircraft were deployed to join in the search. It was later confirmed that the plane had no underwater locator beacon installed. The search was eventually called off after nearly two months. All 29 people on board were presumed dead. The story of Aer Lingus Flight 712 isn't based around a mystery surrounding the disappearance of a crashed aircraft. As a matter of fact, when this flight crashed, crews were able to locate it in a very timely manner. So, what's it doing on this list? 
Well, it's about why the aircraft crashed that had people perplexed for years. In an effort to make sense of this tragedy, people came up with many theories as to what could have caused the plane to go down. These theories are what have earned the Aer Lingus Flight 712 a spot on this list. The flight left Cork Airport in Ireland, bound for London on March 24, 1968 at 10.32am. At first, it was a picture-perfect flight. Suddenly, a call was sent out from the airplane saying 12,000 feet and descending, spinning rapidly. After that, there was no further communication made. Over the next few days, the wreckage was discovered, as were many of the bodies. There were no clues as to what caused the plane to go down. This is where the investigators were lost and where many rumors started. Many of the theories focused on things like mechanical failure or bird strikes. However, this crash happened close to the city of Aberporth in West Wales. At the time, this was the site of the most advanced missile testing station in Britain. Many came to believe that the aircraft was shot down by a missile fired by England. Even in the years after the crash, several witnesses came forward to support the missile theory, some even from the armed forces. Still, the cause was never verified and it remains one of the worst unsolved aviation tragedies in the country's history. Aviation is definitely one of the most cutting-edge areas of science, but it also comes with a small level of danger. As our technology advances, so will our ability to locate crashes and investigate their cause. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and tune in next time.